Hi, today we are going to discuss the most frequently asked questions and their answers of a civil engineering interview. Question 1. Can you tell us the size of different bricks? Answer. The size of modular bricks, for their standard size, is 190 mm into 90 mm into 90 mm. The size of modular bricks, for their nominal size, is 200 mm into 100 mm into 100 mm. The size of non-modular or traditional bricks is 230 mm into 110 mm into 70 mm. Question 2. What do standard and nominal size mean? Answer. Standard size indicates the size of brick only, while the nominal size means size of brick plus mortar. Question 3. What is admixture? Answer. Chemical admixtures are the ingredients in concrete, other than cement, water, and aggregates, that are added to the mix immediately before or during mixing. Producers use admixtures primarily to reduce the cost of concrete construction, to modify the properties of hardened concrete, to ensure the quality of concrete during mixing, transporting, placing, and curing, and to overcome certain emergencies during concrete operations. Question 3. Do you know what codes are used for RCC? Answer. The most important code for RCC is IS 456-2000. IS 432-1982 Part 2 for specifications for mild steel and medium tensile steel bars and hard-drawn steel wire for concrete reinforcement. IS 1786-2008 for high-strength deformed steel bars and wires for concrete reinforcement specification. IS 2502-1963 for code of practice for bending and fixing of bars for concrete reinforcement. IS 5525 1969, for recommendations, for detailing of reinforcement, in reinforced concrete works. Question 4. How water-cement ratio is associated with strength of concrete? Answer. The ratio depends on the grade of concrete and the structure size. We generally prefer a water-cement ratio of 0.4 to 0.6, but it can be decreased. In case of high-grade concrete, we reduce the amount of water and use plasticizers instead. Water cement ratio affects the workability of concrete and thus should be taken into careful consideration. Also, if the ratio exceeds the normal value, segregation of concrete occurs and the cos aggregate settles at the bottom, thus affecting strength of concrete greatly. Question 5. Water bleeding, segregation and honeycombing. Answer. Bleeding phenomenon when cement and water come on the top and aggregates settle down is called bleeding. This is due to specific gravity of material and improper placing. Segregation, it means separation of ingredients of concrete. Honeycombing, after removal of formwork, there may be some cavities left in concrete, this is called honeycomb, this occurs due to improper compaction of concrete. Question 6, what are the suitable time span to remove the different types of formworks? Answer, in the normal condition, formwork shall be removed as follows. Slab props, under 3 days sides of beam formwork, after 24 hours. For vertical member, 24 to 48 hours beam soffits, 7 days. Slabs, span less than or equals 4.5 meters, 7 days, span greater than 4.5 meters, 14 days. Beams, arches, less than or equals 6 meters, 14 days, greater than 6 meters, 21 days. Question 7. What are the plinth level and sill level? Answer. Plinth level, in architecture, a plinth is the base or platform upon which a column or structure rests. It is normally the finished floor level of the ground floor and usually kept 450 mm from existing ground level unless some other factor compels it to be altered. Sill level, the lower part of the base of the window, is called sill level. Question 8. What do you understand by FA415? Answer. It is a HYSD, that is, high yield strength deformed bar and its characteristic strength is 415 newton per millimeter square. Question 9. Tell us the ratio of different mixers. Answer. Ratio of cement, sand, aggregates for M5, 1 is 2, 5 is 2, 10. For M7.5, 1 is 2, 4 is 2, 8 for M10, 1 is 2, 3 is 2, 6. For M15, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 4 for M20, 1 is 2, 1.5 is 2, 3. For M25, 1 is 2, 1 is 2, 2 for higher grades, we design the mix as per IS 10262. 2009 question 10 what do you understand by buckling answer buckling is characterized by a sudden sideways failure of a structural member subjected to high compressive stress at the point of failure 
is less than the ultimate compressive stress that the material is capable of withstanding. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.